Here is a revised version of the method used to put the foam board joiner inside your fuselage tube that will get you a much smoother, cleaner surface where it's joined. Previously I recommended using hot glue to put a strip, the width of the inside of the fuselage, inside here, then apply hot glue to one or both halves at a time. I usually recommend using one. And then closing this all up like that with tape. And that still works pretty good, but it often can result in a slightly irregular surface here um, that doesn't line up absolutely perfectly, maybe a millimeter or two off. And it usually requires me using uh, duct tape to cover it up, duct tape like this, whatever color, just to conform to the slightly irregular surface there. With this new method, you can use the actual packing tape color, and since it's very, very smooth across there, the packing tape will lay down very nice and mirror smooth. The drawbacks of this different method are that we have to dispense with the beloved hot glue and instead use CA glue or Gorilla Glue. It does require a little bit more setup time and requires some form of clamp and also a rigid material such as aluminum bar stock, uh, but once set up it's virtually foolproof. Now, Unfortunately this method does break the philosophy of using the hot glue and instead we use CA glue, uh, th somewhat like thick, medium or thick is recommended, or even better Gorilla Glue. I tried three different types of spray adhesive, none of them worked well. When applied directly to the foam, it just melts the foam, even a very fine mist. And when applied to the paper, it actually seems to kind of soak right into the paper and it doesn't actually leave much adherence on the surface to form the uh, joint. So for this method, instead of hot gluing the joiner inside the fuselage tube like this, set aside the joiner and with masking tape, just tape the pre-bent fuselage tube, that is pre-bent all four corners like that, and just tape it securely together at the center. Now you notice the, the problem with that is that this sort of bulges out. So what we do from there is use a piece of foam board like this, which is the same or similar size as the joiner that you're going to use, and then tape that on the outside of the fuselage tube down securely with a noticeable amount of tension across. So you want to push the joint together here and ensure that this is perfectly lined up on both ends so you don't have a twist in your fuselage tube. So I'm just pushing that down and pulling a little tension so that this joint is so tight it's almost invisible. Now that you have the piece of foam board in the exterior of the fuselage tube securely taped in several places, you'll notice that on the inside it's very square all the way down. There's a nice perfect straight butt joint across there and at the opposite end as well. So at this point you can relax and take it slow while you do the gluing process. Now here's the joiner that I'm going to use and I actually like to use a scrap piece from the fuselage tube production that has tape on it already and that way you can tape and untape items inside the fuselage tube more easily to this and remove it without damage. This joiner is cut to the same interior diameter as the fuselage tube so it slides in nicely without forcing. Now I'm using Gorilla Glue, the kind that dries white and two times faster and uh, since you'll never see it again, I don't guess the color matters, and you need to wet the surface that you're gluing together, ideally both but it's a little difficult to wet the inside of the fuselage tube, so I found using the right amount of water on the joiner is just fine. And I use a wet washcloth, and you don't want to overly wet it because it'll start to impair the security of your um, paper here. But I just kind of wipe it back and forth a few times, like that. Get it moist, and then I'm going to apply the Gorilla Glue. And this does expand, of course, so you don't want to put too much on there. And there's a lot of ways to do this. I just like to put a strip down each side, nice little bead, and then a little uh, serpentine across the middle. 
Now working relatively rapidly, but not hurrying, I'll put the fuselage tube upside down so as you're looking at the bottom, and I'll slide the glued joiner inside, like that, and then just flip it upside down, and then you can see how to line this up right at the edge. So you line this right up against the edge at both ends, like that, and you'll need to clamp this down. This is a crucial part. What I'm using for the clamping operation is a piece of angle aluminum that's cut 30 inches long to match the length of the fuselage tube. A nice stout piece of wood, like a 2x2 two two, would work. You don't want to use something like this, like a measuring yardstick, because it's flexible and it won't clamp correctly the center part of the joiner, even though it may clamp the ends adequately well. So here's your, the joiner inside, the glue is ready to start bonding, and I've put my clamping implement, the angle aluminum, against a piece of clean scrap uh, foam board, and I'm going to put that right up against the joiner inside like this, so that I could clamp down this end in the center, and this end center right here. Here you'll see I've got these squeeze clamps applying pressure to the angle aluminum or piece of wood if that's what you're using and that's pushing down on this scrap piece of foam board which is pushing on the joiner. It is important to note that the force is applied inside the fuselage tube rather than for example if the piece of angle aluminum was sticking out and you put the clamp here it would tend to push down and cantilever off that corner there and so the portion of it that was in the center of the fuselage tube here would tend to bow up and so the adhesion wouldn't be as secure here. Here's the other end. You'll see I've got the squeeze clamp applied well within the fuselage tube. And this is where having this angle aluminum or wood or whatever you use be about the same length as your fuselage tube. You could even have two of these and use another one to sandwich on the bottom. In my case I've just used my uh, workbench piece of particle board as my clamping surface. So I leave that 30 minutes or so if that's the type of Gorilla Glue you're using or CA glue, longer if the glue recommends, and then peel off all the tape, remove the clamping apparatus from the ends and the inside and you'll be left with this very nice smooth surface that you can then apply packing tape to. Same colors you've used to color, cover the foam board. I do recommend using a gift card to apply the tape and gradually squeegee it down as you go because packing tape applied on top of packing tape can result in bubbles and then if, if you apply with the squeegee it minimizes the bubbles and any remaining bubbles you get you can pop with a little razor blade or a pen. So just another quick note from the fuselage factory. Hope that's a little bit of help and can make your fuselage tubes a little bit nicer and smoother. Please leave any comments or questions and I will do my best to answer. Thanks.